Welcome to Inside NRC. It was a tough weekend for both the Queensland sides. The two of them suffering losses over the weekend. Joining me to talk about those games, we have McKinnis Wilson Lawyers, Brisbane City halfback Nick Frisby, and Bond University Queensland Country Centre Isaiah Parisi. Gentlemen, welcome to the couch. Exactly. Izzy, another disappointing loss for Country after a strong start. It just looks like there's a 15, 20 minute period in each game that's really letting you down. Yeah, it is. Um, I just think that we start we start off real strong, but um, it's just when we finish the game, it's um, we sort of uh, let ourselves down a bit. Is there a particular thing you can focus on, you know, on the training paddock to try and erase those periods and get yourself to a win? Just think, it just comes down to attitude. Um, just you know, wanting to play that full 80 minutes. You know. It's interesting watching you play because, if I can say so, you're not a huge person but you throw your body around. You're definitely in attack and defence. You really sort of relish the contact and you throw yourself at guys who are much bigger than you. Yeah, you know, I tend to um, try and push my body past its natural limits and... Um, <laughs> 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 Something Pickle doesn't know, so nah, he's a bit... I've he's never bit pushed my body. <laughs> Pickle, like country, City got off to a strong start, but you were sort of blown off the park in that last 15 minutes by a really strong Canberra Vikings side. Yeah, it was a frustrating one for us. Um, really pleasing first half effort, um, especially um, defensively. We had, a, we had a big focus there um, on the weekend. I thought the boys really stepped up and delivered uh, what we'd been talking about in the first 40. And then, um, unfortunately, in the towards the end of the second half, um, you know, we made a lot of errors and, and didn't execute a lot of uh, the game plan. And uh, against a quality side like the Vikings, you just uh, can't give them. Uh, you know, that easy ball and easy access into your half and then probably the most disappointing part of it was, the, the, as you said, the last 20 and we probably rolled over a little bit and um, that's not part of our DNA so hopefully we'll be looking for an improved finish this weekend. And in the other games over the weekend, the New South Wales Country Eagles remained undefeated with a 32-30 victory over the Melbourne Rising. The Western Sydney Rams went down, however, to the Perth Spirit 30 points to 24. Looking at the table, the Sydney Rays remain on top of the ladder ahead of the Eagles, setting up a mouth-watering top of the table clash this weekend. Brisbane City are back in sixth and Queensland Country remain in eighth. And of course, we will preview the round four clashes coming up this weekend. But before we do that, it's time to pit City versus Country in the weekly segment of Fast Five. So just a refresher to let you know, Queensland, excuse you, Pickle, you all right? Queensland Country do lead the series 2-1 at the moment following Mac Mason's 4-1 victory over Ooh. Jake McIntyre last week. So an opportunity here for Pickle maybe to peg one back for City or for Izzy to skip ahead for Queensland Country. Gentlemen, we ready to go? Buzz is working. <coughs> Sounds good. First question. In the show Family Guy, what's the first name of Peter's neighbour, Quagmire? <coughs> Glenn. Yes, well done. <laughs> The New South Wales Country Eagles and the Melbourne Rising played in Tamworth on the weekend. The town is home to the big what? Guitar. <laughs> Izzy. <laughs> Mate, on point. I've never been out of Ashgrove, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing big in Ashgrove. <laughs> the NFL season kicked off on the weekend. The Patriots defeating Arizona. How many touchdowns did Tom Brady throw? Pickle. Zero. It was zero. Yeah. Well done. He had a pretty off game that I was watching. I'll give you it because it was zero, but it wasn't because he had an off game. Oh, he I've actually didn't play. Suspended. I've never watched a game yeah, in my suspended. life. So good. Well, but you got it right. Yeah. The answer was zero. I'm on the board. You need to get the next two questions yeah, to get the win for City. Ask them, mate. Don't let me. The Jeep school rugby season wrapped up on the weekend. Terrace defeated Nudgy for the first time since what year? 2004. Country. I think I was first there, anyway. Really. Nah. We'll go to the judges and the decision stands it was country. Sorry, Pickle. So, country have wrapped up the win, but you could make it a tight finish here, Pickle. Last question, mm -hmm. which team has scored the most tries so far in NRC? 2016? Vikings. Vikings from Queensland country. Another huge win for country, so they take a 3-1 <laughs> series lead, a 4-1 victory to Izzy Parisi. Well done. Thank you. I feel like the little debrief you had outside may have been I've nah, got no a way. feeling that you were prepped <laughs> on those questions out, outside. Well, mate, that's fine. I'd have to have a word this. to Tom Kennedy, the <laughs> city media manager. He's just stitched me up here, so 
That's fine. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, bro, I'm smarter than Frizz. (laughs) (laughs) So as we look ahead to round four, Brisbane City play away this weekend, heading down to Melbourne to take on the Rising. Pickle, it's a big road trip this weekend to Melbourne with the Rising sitting two points above you on the ladder. Only four games left to go in the season. Yeah, I think it's a big game for us. Um, obviously, being a bit inconsistent, um, lose, win, lose. So, um, in the context of our season, I think it's a it's a pretty big game. Um, we've had a pretty good ro- rivalry with the Rising. Geez, trying to say that fast, but um, uh, I think they smashed us here in the first year, and then we beat them down there last year. So. Um, yeah, we'll be looking to um, improve uh, from last week. Obviously, the, the rising are pretty strong second half side, so we'll need to be a lot better um, to beat them down there, but looking forward to the challenge. And of course, fans can catch that game live on Fox Sports on Saturday afternoon, kicking off at 3 pm. Izzy, probably the toughest trip uh, in the season, heading west. How do you get your season on track with a win this weekend? Oh, I think just preparation, just getting. Um just getting the mind into the game, you know, just um, playing a full game, you know, uh, not playing the first half, but also showing up in that second half as well and just sticking it to them. I think um, we did really well uh, with the previous games in the first 20, 25 minutes. But um, I just think that if we can do that with uh, Perth and just hold them off, then we'll be fine. And of course, that'll be a cracking afternoon of Sunday rugby. That game will be live on Fox Sports as well, kicking off at 3 p.m. And of course, that wraps up the fourth episode of Inside NRC. Gentlemen, thanks very much for joining me on the couch this week. Thanks, thanks for having us. Best of luck for your games on the weekend. Thanks, Thank you. Make sure you tune in to Fox Sports on Saturday and Sunday, both at 3pm to catch those games. And we'll be back next week with more Inside NRC.